Welcome back YouTube. I know it's been a while since uh, Dodge Dragons back with our video. Uh, this time is uh, Dubia Roaches. Uh, here we are. Got this small colony of du Dubia Roaches. Uh, I'm going to start breeding them uh, for, for my feeders. These will be feeders for my beer dragons. Also, I'd probably sell a few if once I get a big enough colony. Right now, he's got these smaller Dubia Roaches. Um, I got one male, one female, large Dubia Roach. That big one there, that's the female. I'll show you what the males look like. The males have wings. So this bigger guy right there. Oh, you see he's got the wings on him. He looks, and he's a lot skinnier. He's not so fat and round like the females. So that's, that's what you're looking for. That's a male. So the rest of these little guys, they're all... There they go. They're all females, so I'm hoping to get a good colony once my adult male and adult female start breeding. So this is my my feeders. I, w I will feed some of these littler ones off to my bearded dragons. They just love the dubia roaches. They're uh, more nutritious, more fattier for your bearded dragons instead of just the you know crickets. Um, I mean. It sure doesn't look like there's a lot in here, but it's because they, they hide very well, you know. And, uh, yeah, but there, there's, there's like like a hundred or so in here. I mean, there's a, there's a lot. They do hide very well. I mean, once I start moving this stuff around, it's like they just start coming out all over. I mean, this has got quite a few in here. I'll just, like, shake these bad boys off. One thing I found out that, uh, They'll actually like maul or they'll shed their skin once they get bigger. They'll actually like come right out of their skin. Um, this here is like the skin of one. Once they, it's, it's pretty wild. I didn't know that, but once they come out of their skin, they're they're all white like this guy here. See how white he is. And then he'll he'll turn back to the brown color. And so so they're definitely getting bigger. Um, Feeding wise, I uh, use uh, a little bit of fish flakes and some dog food, crush it up. They'll eat just about anything. Uh, it seems like they really like the apple peels. I, I'll chop up like apple, throw in there. They're they're really going to town on the apple. Um, I do got some water crystals. They're they're not ready yet, but for now, it's been like soaking a paper towel and putting it down there. Or I'll get out my mister and kind of miss the cardboard, the egg cartons and stuff. I mean, there's a ton right here. I mean. I mean, there, there's quite a few in here. <clears throat> and, uh, so I got these from uh, EB3 Customs uh, for a pretty great deal. Uh, Dodge Dragons is teaming up with EB3 Customs to bring you a uh, better, better, higher quality uh, beer dragon. Uh, definitely try and get the new morphs and everything like that. So, uh, don't forget to check out EB3 Customs as well. Uh, he's got great a great line of... Uh, Custom enclosures, pretty much anything you think of, he, he does it. I mean, from misters to automatic timers to, I mean, I, I mean if you if you name it, he does it. Not just for bear dragons, but for all reptiles. So go ahead and check him out on uh, Facebook and on web at EB3 Customs. Again, this is Dodge Dragons. Uh, let's bring you another video about our uh, Dubia Roaches. And this is our Dubia Roach Colony we have going here at Dodge Dragons. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share. Till next time.